Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 14th of 2023. Well, it is titled circular sun halo. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of a halo around the sun. Now you can see that circular region around and that is what is called the 22 degree halo. And these are actually relatively common and can be seen easily during the day. And they are caused by ice crystals in very high level clouds that will bend the light of the sun and cause it to form this halo around the sun that we see. Now, of course, here we see the sun being blocked out by the finger there because otherwise the brightness of the sun would vastly overwhelm anything around it. But in actual, if you're just looking, you would be able to see this, but trying to image it, you would have two very bright and very faint objects and much harder to be able to pick those up. So here you can see the method to be able to see a halo like this. All you've got to do is block out the sun. And often if the crystals are right in the upper atmosphere, you would be able to see a halo like this around the sun. Now this is one ring of around using the sun. There's another one going on today as well. And that would be the ring of fire eclipse that occurs today over parts of North and South America. Now, depending on where you happen to be located, you can see what is called a ring of fire or an annular eclipse. And that occurs when the moon is a little bit further away from the sun and not fully able to block it out during the eclipse. The moon will block out blocks out most of the sun. But because it will appear a little bit smaller than the sun, it leaves a ring of material, a ring of the solar surface still visible around the edge of it. So often called a ring of fire eclipse, there's a chance to see that in portions of North and South America today. And of course, there is another eclipse, a total solar eclipse coming up also for parts of North and uh, Central America coming up in uh, April of this coming year. And that eclipse track will go through parts of Mexico and then up through Texas and then exiting out over Canada. So much of uh, parts, good parts of Mexico and parts of the central and northeastern United States will actually get to see the total eclipse on April the 8th of 2024. So one eclipse today, another eclipse about six months from now. And that is because eclipses come in seasons and those seasons are about six months apart. And those occur because of the alignment of Earth, Moon and Sun that come together about every six months, about twice a year when the orbits line up, allowing eclipses to occur. So that was our picture of the day for October 14th of 2023. It was titled Circular Sun Halo. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.